Um, well, you're going to play music to us, but, but in a very special way. Could you please tell us what we're going to witness? I can try to. Um, the band you see here on stage is the borderline, and it's a live improvising orchestra, which means that we don't know what's going to happen in a few minutes. Um, the way we, we control and try to order this group improvisation is by using an American sign language system called sound painting. So it works like this, sound painting. Ah, thank you. So uh, Gustav and me are conductors and we'll show a series of gestures to the musicians. They will read them and respond to them with music. So for example, if I want two musicians to do exactly the same thing, I'll do like this. I see. And hopefully they'll do it. <laughs> Let's see. Gustav, could you please explain to us how this plays into today's theme of mirrors? Yes, of course. Well, first of all, the orchestra, of course, mirrors the conductor. But really, mirrors are everywhere in the music, between the musicians, and uh, especially you can, you'll, you'll, you can uh, see that, uh, or hear it probably, when uh, someone is playing a solo, and um, you'll hear the accompanist reflecting on whatever's going on and creating background and contrast to make the music interesting. Uh, last but not least, uh, of course, uh, as musicians and as, a, as an orchestra, we, re we reflect on the audience and um, whatever the atmosphere is like. And because we create music on the spot, we can actually create an interaction on, on many levels um, using our sign language sound painting. So if the audience reacts in some way, you'll try to convey this to the music? We'll see. Wow. <laughs> well, you're a part of this. I hope you enjoy Borderline.
Thank <laughs> you.